A stunningly successful Ukrainian military counteroffensive has reclaimed thousands of miles of occupied territory in just two weeks while energizing the Ukrainian population, fomenting dissent in Russia and sending some of Moscow's worn-down forces scrambling in retreat. Has the brutal war reached a turning point? Most experts are expressing cautious optimism. John Kirby, the National Security Council's coordinator for strategic communications at the White House, at a briefing this week described the war as a dynamic situation and stressed that it was unpredictable. What you're seeing is certainly a shift in momentum for the Ukrainian armed forces, part. Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky, his military's most vocal cheerleader, acknowledges the war is far from over. Much of Ukraine's success has taken place in the northeast, and many Russian military pundits have actually admitted defeat in the Kharkiv region. Yet this week Russian missiles smashed a large part of the city's energy infrastructure. Zelensky called the attacks a sign of the desperation of those who invented this war but are unable to overcome Ukraine's docked military efforts. These days, the Russian army is showing its back, Zelensky said in a recent speech. And, in the end, it is a good choice for them to run away. There is and will be no place for the occupiers in Ukraine. The success of the Ukrainian counterattack, sudden as it seems, had been months in the making, said Colin Smith, an expert on the Russian military at the Rand Corporation, a nonpartisan think tank. Smith and Pentagon officials trace the rapid gains to Ukraine's ability to exploit Russian weakness in logistics, troop morale and Ukraine's home field advantage. Still, Russia has maintained advantages in numbers of troops and weaponry over Ukraine since launching the invasion February 24. 